All right, I'm done. Here's the final product. Hi guys, today we're doing static nails, the plain ones that you can customize yourself. This is in the shape almond. They're a lot shorter than the ones that come pre-painted, which is weird, I don't know, but I love it because I don't have to cut them down. Because you can use um, any type of n normal nail lacquer. You just can't use gel because you would obviously need acetone to take it off and these dissolve in acetone. Okay, so we're gonna do pink marble nails. My very first time marbling, so let's hope this works. Okay, our base color is OPI Rice Rice Baby. And if you're interested in these handy little nail stands, which I totally recommend, um, you can get them on Amazon. They're pretty cheap. I'll leave a link down below so you can check it out. But they truly are a lifesaver. Like, what other way could you do this without, uh, unless they're like actually on your hands? Okay, so the first, oh, and the instructions say to cap the free edge on every coat. I usually only do the top coat, but this says every coat. Anyway, you can see already going on, it's a little splotchy. Whoa, that's kind of a cute marble effect. Anyways, we're not gonna leave it like that. <laughs> yeah, the first coat goes on kind of splotchy. Hopefully the second coat will be better. All right, so that is the left hand. And now onto the right hand. All right, and now for our second coat. This is such a pretty color. It's my favorite. That didn't go on as smoothly as I would have preferred. All right, now it looks like we're working on a third coat on this one. Okay, so that is three coats. I think that looks really good. That's perfect. So now third coat on the right hand. I like how, this doesn't seem to need a coat. I'll do it anyway. I like how these stands, one is, it's a pack of two when you, okay, get your words together first. So these stands, come with 10 each and I like how one side is um this I like how one side is silver and the other is pink that way you don't get your left and right hands mixed up these are also amazing for practice like you can just get a bunch of the cheap clear nails and just practice all day on these let me show you how much putty comes with it to stick the nail on. So you get this. That's a lot, right? Well, at first when I saw it, I was like, yo, I'm going to need to reorder. But you don't use a full square for each nail. Like I can get about three from, um, I can stick three nails with just one square. So yeah, it's going to last a while. hope these I hope this polish doesn't peel off because that that's a lot of polish that is a lot okay but here comes the fun part I'm so excited we're gonna marble all right so let's oh mama let's go back to this one okay all right we're gonna use a striping brush I also got these on Amazon I'll link it down below it comes with seven, all different colors, all different brush lengths. They're all striping brushes. Yeah, they're all striping brushes, but there you can kind of see the length length of them. Like some are long, some are, or sh are short. I like how they have that plastic tip to cover. And on the other side of each brush is a dotting tool. And this is what the brush we're working with today looks like. All right, 
Mm. I think the first thing we're gonna do is take Essie stitch by stitch, and it's a bit lighter than Rice Rice Baby. It's lighter than our base coat. So we're gonna take Essie stitch by we're gonna take Essie stitch by stitch. And the way I do this, uh, most people would just like pour some out on a piece of foil or whatever. I literally <laughs> just open it and then brush some of the polish onto my striping brush. Okay. And then I'm just gonna make a squiggly, uh-oh, a squiggly line like that. You can barely, barely see it but there it is okay and I'm also going to use the other side for the bigger marbling I'm going to use the dotting tool and I do it the same way I just brush it sorry I just pick it up from the brush and then I'm just going to make random diagonal lines the good thing about this is like you really can't mess up because no two marbles are going to be the same. So you literally, let me see if I can do it that way. You literally just go for it. Then we're going to go back to the striping brush. And by the way, I am not a pro and I do not claim to be a pro. This is literally my first time marbling. I just watched a lot of videos. Okay, so that's what we have so far. I think also when it comes to marbling, the colors you choose, the colors you choose mean a lot. And I'm just squiggling the brush on like that. I think that's enough. All right. So now we're going to add in some white. So I'm using Essie Pre-Show Jitters. So I'm going to wipe off my dotting tool. You can use polish remover if you want, but it's still wet, so it's coming off. It's fine. And Looks like the brush is fine too. These brushes are really good quality and they were cheap. Okay. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna, ah, gosh, these are so tight. So we're gonna do the same thing. We're just gonna pick up from the brush, from brush to brush. This one's, not that easy. There we go. Now, I'm just gonna follow the lines that I already have. And I'm just gonna put it right beside it. Oh, that's so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, so cute. I can't believe I'm actually doing it. Like I've never done this before. And trust me, if I can do it, you can do it. All right, now my trick, cause I did practice on one before I started this video. Oh, let me show you. I put a matte, I put a matte top coat over this one, which I'm not gonna do this time because I want them shiny, but yeah, this is the first marble I ever did in my entire life. And I think that is pretty sweet. Yes, so my trick is to do the top coat while it's still wet and it's gonna, you'll see, it's gonna like spread it out so it's not, because right now that's not really marble, but watch. And I'm using Sesh V the only top coat I ever use. You know what? This is not working. 
It worked on my practice now. There we go. It's a little better. It's not exactly what I was going for, but it's not horrible. <laughs> Yeah, not exactly what I wanted. The next nail will be better. So, this time we're gonna use the dotting tool a little bit more because it gives you edges that are not as straight. There's absolutely nothing like my first marble. I guess I just had beginner's luck. <laughs> so that's what we have. I mean, they're not bad, right? I'm just obviously not a pro. Practice makes perfect, that's okay. We're gonna keep at it. There. Oh, yes, baby, boo-boo, yes. Okay, now let's put on the clear coat. The top, ow, I punched myself in the mouth. Okay, please, Jesus. Well, I put on a lot of top coat. Yeah, that's probably gonna bubble. That's way too much. But you know what? It's pretty. And so far I haven't had any bubbling. All right, oh my gosh, yes, we did it. Look at that. You know what? They're not bad. Wow, okay. All right, let's do the other hand. You know, I'll do the other hand and then come back because you've seen what it looks like. Okay, I finished and guys, the other hand is so much better. So I found that using the striping brush is a lot easier because you do have more control. So like for this one, I didn't even use a dotting tool. This one's all striping brush. That's a combination of striping brush and dotting tool. And that's all dotting tool. So. Those are the different effects that you'll get. Oh my gosh, guys. Look at that. I did that. What? So cool. Six months later. All right, I'm done. Here's the final product. I was thinking about painting my ring fingers pink, but then I figured it would be kind of weird to just have like one white no, in the middle, I don't know. But anyway, this is what we have. I think they turned out great. I absolutely love them. It looks like I went to a salon. Um, let me show you one other thing. This is the clay 
and it, it's still very sticky. Like you can totally keep reusing this. I'm frugal. <laughs> so I'm taking all of the clay and making it into a big ball and I can use it next time. Just make sure it's in um, an airtight bag, something where, you know, it can't dry out. But yeah, so that sheet is gonna last me forever because this is all I used for all 10 fingers and I will be using it next time. Anyway, if you have watched this far to the end of the video, you are the real MVP. My dog is growling in the background and I really appreciate you guys more than you know. So please comment, subscribe, and like this video, and I will see you next time. Bye.